Hi and welcome again to the channel Newtown Naughty Boy and this video is the part 3 of the Crossman 130 pistol and if you remember from our last video I stripped the Crossman 130 down to its component parts and I said in that video that I would the next operation would be to clean up the parts and um, as part of that I wanted to actually restore the uh, the metalwork back to some sort of original condition so in this video I hope to show you some cleaned up parts um, and also to show you uh, the replacement of the seals uh, the various seals from the seal kit that I um, acquired from America uh, some time ago and to show you where those placements go and then we can actually have a look to see um, how these metal parts come up uh, and I'm envisaging that maybe I leave I may leave some parts as, as just like a, a almost like a chrome metal finish or I may actually do some bluing as well or a mixture of the two so first of all I'm going to take the main tube and start to clean this up with some abrasives um, I'm going to try and do this by hand now the important thing to note with cleaning up something like this which is obviously something that acts as the air tube as well uh, it holds the uh, the valve and everything is not to actually do any um, abrasive uh, operation inside the tube itself you don't want to be changing the diameter of this tube in any way you can um, if you're careful do some polishing down here with some rag and some polish to polish up the tube but concentrate on the outside this one this this tube is quite rusty and requires a little bit of uh, love and attention to bring it uh, back to a nice metal surface so I'm going to use some uh, emery paper um, to uh, to get try and get this down to uh, some sort of nice clean state before we actually progress with anything else So just 10 minutes really with some 120 grade uh, emery cloth. Um, I've managed to get the black off the tube. It's beginning to look shiny but of course because the 120 is quite coarse um, there's now lines of uh, uh, scratching lines on, on the actual tube itself so um, now I have to uh, use a finer paper to try and get some sort of nice shine on this tube and then decide exactly what I want to do next okay so I've worked on this tube now for some time um, with some polish after the uh, emery paper and um, I've buffed this up uh, as much as I I can really I think um, it's still got some s a surface scratches on it which I can't really get out unless I really really work on this for ages and ages I think I've brought this up to where I want it to be um, I've kind of decided that I will probably um, use some cold blue on this now um, and the next stage then will be to um, to apply that to this and I'll show you how I do that um, and we can see what the uh, results of that will be but I think leaving it as chrome would be okay a chrome type finish but um, I think in this particular instance that we'll put some nice cold blue on and see what the results are if it doesn't turn out well then we can always buff this back down to this nice uh, shiny finish again so let's see what happens next and I have got a few other components that I will now do the same process on and buff up to a uh, well let's uh, a clean metal 
um, finished let's say and it's time to do some bluing to the metal parts that I've now cleaned up so um, as you will remember from the last part uh, I took the gun apart and I said that I would clean various parts of the gun up um, to a nice shiny finish ready for some bluing and that I have done so we have the barrel here we have the air tube here and we have the cocking lever here so these are the components that I will be um, bluing today so I'm using today as I've already said um, I think I've mentioned that I'm using this uh, it's called quick browning from Blistol um, it's actually a bluing agent it's it's actually not browning as such I think browning um, is another kind of process that you can uh, apply to metal um, it comes in quite a small bottle um, how much is in here I'm not quite sure how much you get here um, oh 50 mils um, it's green in color uh, it's a clear liquid um, I would warn you before you use this that you put some latex gloves on um, I've seen a few videos now on YouTube where people are using this without gloves on this stuff um, this is a chemical and you really don't really want to be getting this on your skin um, it could be quite dangerous so please wear some latex gloves and uh, from if you've watched my previous videos um, you'll always see me really wearing uh, latex gloves uh, to do work because uh, they're cheap enough you can buy a box easy and throw them away afterwards so in preparation what I've done is of course I've shined the metal work up as much as I can and prior to uh, putting the bluing agent on um, I have cleaned the metal work with some methylated spirits and a rag so you must make sure that all the metal work is clean and by that I mean actually there is no grease on the metal work at all it's clean as far as dirt is concerned and it's clean as far as grease is concerned as well so you must make sure that that is done before you apply the agent okay so we're ready to start and I'm going to use the uh, the product on the air tube to start with this is probably the most important part of the gun really to look good so I'm going to use some um, some paper towel and um, just put some on the paper towel let it absorb in and then try to get a nice coat on there quite quickly um, it seems to be quite odourless in a way it's going on quite well just put some more on it's quite useful having the latex gloves on because it doesn't really matter in this particular instance if I get some on my fingers as I stick it through the tube here this is going on very very well and I'm quite impressed now, I've used the Birchwood Casey product before now um, with some success but the process seems to be um, a little bit more involved with that product whereas you have to uh, put the product on in a certain time and then bathe the whole metal work in water so I've kind of given that let's put some more on I think what I'm going to do is just move on to the other metal work parts and come back to this in a minute and put some more on but certainly I'm hoping you can see that okay yeah certainly that's okay so let's just put that to one side 
and see what happens with the the barrel so um, let's just get some more tissue and see what the barrel comes up with like okay so some more of this product on and quite quickly rubbing it over the barrel I don't know if it's dirt that's coming off on the tissue but there is some black there I, I'm pretty sure that I actually cleaned this metalwork up well before I started okay so that's gone on very very well and just to turn it over and to do now over the receiver part of the gun just a little bit more on I think these are going to need a couple of coats to finish off well but that's not too bad that's not too bad so I'll set set that aside now I'll come back to that in a minute and the last part which I kind of did have some trouble cleaning up is the pump handle itself on the gun um, so we'll just I shine this up or at least I attempted to shine it up as as best I could it was kind of quite a difficult um, form to actually uh, clean up so let's see what happens here we might not get as good a results on this as we have with the other types of metal um, just to stress that depending on the type of metal um, you're bound to get different results with the product depending on what type of metal you're applying it to okay it's kind of okay that certainly hasn't come up in the same way as the other parts um, I'm going to let that dry and put some more on in a moment it's kind of okay but um, it hasn't come up as well as the other metal parts but this is definitely a different type of metal to the uh, to the barrel and and to the air tube so just to finish off our items I'm going to use the uh, ballast oil oil on some uh, some paper towel and apply this over the items that I've just blued this should give it or stabilize it I think and give it a nice sheen um, some of the agent is coming off uh, as I do that but the metalwork does look good so we'll apply that to all the items now they do seem to have come up very very well so I'm very very pleased with how this product has performed so that's the barrel done and this item which was the pump handle um, not so good as I say the metal or the type of metal obviously doesn't lend itself to being blued but um, 
I'm happy with that. Uh, if you can see that, but all these items are pretty good and I'm very pleased. So, with those done, I can move on with my project. So, it's been a week since I did the bluing of these component parts of this Crossman pistol um, using the quick browning solution and as I said earlier in the video um, the results that I'd got through after covering these components with the uh, banister oil, oil look quite acceptable and a nice colour but now that the oil has, has uh, kind of dried off I suppose in a way it's very difficult to see probably on this video but um, this component here is actually quite brown and to be fair the actual product the, is, is called quick browning um, I was quite hoping that the uh, well you can see the brown coming off on my latex gloves now it's kind of like a rust which is really what um, a browning process is is all about it's a controlled rusting of the metalwork um, I'm not particularly um, happy with the color of this so I'm going to uh, strip this back down again um, certainly this tube and the barrel and I'm going to go back to the um, the the uh, Birchwood Casey uh, Prima Blue. So I've got enough in there to have a go with this product again. So I'm going to do that um, and show you the results of that. So um, and let's try that. So for just the results that I want, really. Um, this brown isn't really what I want and certainly um, I don't want, want it coming off on my hands. So that's it for this part. So thanks very much for watching this part of the video um, and I will follow up with a very short video on the uh, bluing of these components using the, the Prima Blue, as I've just said. So thanks very much for watching. If uh, you'd like to subscribe to my channel, please uh, press the subscribe button. And if you liked this video, please press like. Any comments gratefully received as always. Thank you very much. Well, if you've ever wondered where the name Newtown Naughty Boy comes from, well, you can learn a little bit more about that. Um, I did write a book last year, and uh, quite recently I've had the book republished. Um, it's got a nice new cover on it. It details uh, my story, really, uh, growing up uh, in the UK in a small town, and uh, all the things that I got up to uh, during the 50s, 60s and 70s. There's quite a bit in there, there's some pictures, there's illustrations, there's a little bit of naughtiness, there's quite a bit of air gun shooting and shenanigans. There's stuff that will make you laugh in this book. It's a book you can order from Amazon, but also it's available on Kindle quite cheaply. So why not give it a go? It's a really good read and then you can give me some feedback on it. Um, hope you enjoy. Give it a try.